A man who was never born is the father of his brother's child. What? Hey guys, I'm Court McGinley. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Now let's get into some news. But first, in the last video, I asked you guys, who do you like better, Taylor Swift or Katy Perry? And this is what you guys said. Today I want to know, have you ever met any twins? Either two boys, two girls, or a girl and a boy? Let me know down below. So on to a story that I never thought I would talk about because it doesn't really seem possible. So an American man has a blood test done and it shows that neither him or his wife are the same blood type as their son. Usually the only way this could happen would be if the woman's cheating on her man, but in this case that's not what happened. So after the doctors took some tests, it turns out the DNA in the man's sperm was actually from his fraternal twin. I know most of you guys are probably like mind blown and you're like, how does something like this even happen? Well, it's called vanishing twin syndrome. This is a rare case in which in the early stages of pregnancy, one twin dies and then the other one kind of absorbs it. So apparently this father has kind of absorbed some of his twin's cells from the womb, effectively becoming a blend of both him and his brother. The cells that develop into sperm or eggs are called germline cells. And this is hence why the testing came out the way it did. So this is an exceedingly rare thing, and even though it does happen sometimes, it usually goes undetected. So technically, this man is his son's uncle. That's going to be really confusing to try to explain to him when he's older. Next, meet Alex Visker from Utah, and he's allergic to food, hence he hasn't eaten anything solid in the past two years. So Alex, he's 6'2", which is pretty tall, and at one point he weighed as low as 155 pounds. For a guy of that height, that's like nothing. Alex said even one bite of food can leave him with extreme headaches. Bone and muscle pain, stomach convulsions, and brain fog. So this poor guy, he can't cut a break. Not only can he not eat, but he also is allergic to a lot of common scents as well. Such as perfume, paint, freshly cut grass, latex, and car fume. If he even gets a whiff of perfume, he can't think clearly and he can't sleep for two to three days. Alex has been to dozens of specialists and doctors and none of them can pinpoint what seems to be wrong. So because eating food does make him severely ill, he gets his nutrients from a protein-free formula through a feeding tube that he uses every day around mealtimes. But this doesn't stop him from making his family meals and joining them at the dinner table. Alex said, I sit down at the dinner table with my family and I have the tube out and I put food in it and join in on conversation. However, this formula kind of costs the family a lot of money. It's $7,000 a month. All of us here are wishing Alex and his family the best. So from one person who has a challenge eating to another. This story is about Rachel Farkin, who made a desperate plea to the world to help her as she battles a severe form of anorexia. Back in April, this 37-year-old posted a video to YouTube when she was on the brink of death and only weighing 44 pounds. In her video for help, she states that she needed help raising money for treatment. She created a GoFundMe page and the world answered her prayers in donating over $200,000. So she started off her treatment in California and then switched to a center in Portugal. She knew if she was going to get better, she had to act fast. Many of her supporters have been keeping up with her struggles and her successes on her Facebook page. Rachel was recently able to travel to Washington to attend the second annual March Against Eating Disorders. Rachel knows she still has a long way to go, but the results are looking good. Over the past couple of months, she's getting better, and she wants to raise awareness and educate on this topic for others who are struggling like she was before she got help. Next, I'm going to talk to you about a crazy new invention. They're called truck specs, and they're helping the blind people to see. So three, two, one, start stimulation. Yes. Can you see? Oh my goodness. Wow, can you what see, Larry? Yes. Oh yeah. my goodness. Can I give him a kiss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Can you really see? Yes. Oh it's my flashing. goodness. Big time flashing. They're flashing? Oh my goodness. I think that's absolutely amazing. These miracle glasses contain tiny cameras and can identify to wearers what they're looking at. These specs, they look pretty similar to the ones worn by Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge. Maybe that's where they got their design idea. They can identify anything from doorways to an item in the fridge. Amazing face recognition technology can tell the user of the name of the approaching person. Once someone has been recorded, any future encounters with them will be announced through the earpiece. These glasses are going to cost between $50 and $75 a month. They are currently being tested by a thousand users and will be included in mobile phone contracts next month. Hope you guys enjoyed all of these videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye! So make sure you guys like, subscribe for more trending news around the world. You can follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley. We have more videos for you guys over here. And I hope you have a great start to your week and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys!